All right, let's move over to the Nets because James Harden spoke to the media today. This is the first time he's talked publicly since his hamstring setback. He said he is, quote, very confident he will return before the end of the regular season. Here's more from James. For me, this, at this point in my career, I think, you know, going into postseasons, basically since I've, you know, been in Houston and whatnot, I've been playing heavy minutes, heavy minutes, you know, whatever, just carrying the load, carrying the load. And this is an opportunity for me to get my body right going into the postseason with, with a clear mind and a clear body of, all right, you know, you got 16 games to win. Um, and, and that's the ultimate goal. That's, you know, the reason why, you know, I came to Brooklyn. Brian Harden also said they don't have to worry about the skill part of the equation. You heard that at the top of the show. So do you think, do you agree, health is the only thing that can keep the wet nets from winning a title this season? Well, it's really important, obviously, because it's been something that they haven't been able to achieve almost all season. But to me, it's still going to come down to if they can put some defense together, because this is just an absolutely vicious offensive team. I've never seen a team like this offensively. But I think we just saw in their last two games against the Bucks, which right now looks like it could be a second round opponent, you know, they were not able to slow Giannis at all. And, and, and also, uh, Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday gave them problems. And so, you know, I, I know that in the regular season, this year in the NBA especially, it's just been, I am going to outscore you. But historically, the playoffs, you have to play some level of defense. And the, the Nets are better on defense than a lot of people, including me, thought they would be when they put this team together. But the cohesion that they've lacked in, in, uh, in playing and getting reps together to get some defensive chemistry, I think, is going to come right down to it along with health. Because at some point, I promise you, they're going to have to get a few stops to win a big playoff game. Absolutely. Health is number one it, it, to me. And I think if you're healthy, then you can kind of fix those things. I mean, you have veteran guys. It's not like you're waiting for a bunch of young young guys with inexperience uh, in the playoffs to teach them defense. Yes, you want them to play team defense. Maybe not individual defense will come about, but team defense. But if your guys aren't healthy, you might not get that maximum effort on the defensive end. Because we know you uh, offensively, you're always going to give maximum effort. That's just the way it works. But defensively uh, is what you want. So if these guys are healthy, you can kind of go to these veterans and say, hey, you want those 16 games that you just said? It only takes 16. Like you said, Brian, you're going to have to get a stop. And look, we've looked over six months. That's our sample so far with this Nets team. I guess a little bit less since James wasn't there right at the beginning of the season. They've only had six and a half games where their players have all been out on the court together. Now, for the two and a half months of the playoffs, is that going to change? Are we going to get all three for a consistent period of time? That, to me, is the only question. And, and whether it falls this way or that way on whether their guys are healthy would make a huge difference in what I would predict for them going forward. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.